Duncan Ferguson. You'd have taken him and gone into battle with him on the pitch. Uh, he intimidates defenders and he was also a good player. I'd have loved to have been able to have seen what he was like on a day-to-day -day basis because I got to meet him once and he was just a colossus of a man and uh, yeah, an Everton legend. Zidane. He was artwork at its best uh, when you watched him and uh, you'd love to see what, uh, what, went, what went through his head as a player. Messi or Ronaldo, just one of those amazing players just to be around them and their mentality and, and obviously the qualities they have as players. Present for me right now is Odegaard just because I'm enjoying watching him play in the season that he's having. Fast? I don't know. Henri? He was my player. You know what I would do? I would say Zlatan. You, you wake up in the morning coming in the office and you never know what he's going to bring. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had the chance to coach against him mm -hmm. when he was at, at the Galaxy and right. we were hearing stories. Uh, and, uh, yeah, interesting guy. The last final. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have it still in my mind, so looking forward to, to fight for another one. Uh, I have a good phrase that is, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Mm. And uh, this was one of the times that, that we should learn. There are a lot of games that I think about. Uh, I think one, uh, the game of Paris Police against Sepahan that made Paris Police champion in my first year as a manager in, in the highest level. Uh, is one I'll never forget, 110,000 people. Uh, we were uh, one point uh, uh, behind them, and then we scored in the 96th minute, the winning goal, and we became champions. So that's difficult to forget. I also uh, remember uh, sometimes the sad ones. For example, I was working with Mr. Hitting with the Korean national team in 2002, and we were 90 minutes away from going to the, to the World Cup final and we, uh, we lose the game 1-0 when a goal Balik scores. Mm -hmm. And then that one, is, it just deep in my heart hurts still to this day. But I'm hoping that I'll have some memorable time in CPL this year. So I think that's a twofold. I remember the one that really hurts and the one that was uh, incredible and victorious. So um, last year, the finals against Oakville was brilliant with Vaughn, League One. On the other side, the game that really hurt me, it actually, you know what, it goes way, way, way back. So that would have been 14 years ago. And that's the team that's had Melvin Kapoor or Roger Thompson, Massimo Marbelli, and we lost in the Ontario Cup semis to Niagara Falls when Ontario Cup was so big. I mean, I don't think I said a word for like five days after that game. I'd like to say uh, the game in, uh, in Honduras against Motagua, uh, the second leg. Uh, mostly for the fact uh, the game comes out in a 0-0 tie and uh, you know you're so close to going to a final of a massive competition. We've obviously had uh, you know, the ability to play in some big games over these years and I've been privileged to be able to be part of them but that's one game that I knew if, uh, if we got there it gave us an opportunity uh, to play in a final in a competition that's, uh, that's no longer there. Hate him. Yeah. I don't know if you saw me them last year, I just sat there, didn't move from my chair and didn't get too excited or, you know, we won too, but it was not a fun experience. Uh, so I just tried to take the pressure off the players and guys, pick your spots, do what you do and I'll sit and chill. I don't like them. I don't like them. Is it because you lost two of them last but year? But you have to decide the match, so. There's an Englishman. Um, not, not a massive fan of them and given that actually we lost the Whitecaps on penalties. Uh, that, but and yet, I've yet to find or hear of a solution that's better than that, so. I think it's a skill you can develop. A lot of people say, oh, it's luck, but no, I think it's, you need to have the, the, the goalkeeper that, that is specialist. He, he's good at psychologically to lead the situation and make the big saves. And you need a, a very uh, kind of blood in your veins, uh, sorry, uh, ice in your veins to be able to stay calm and cool when you take your penalties. Uh, so I do believe that uh, it's something that you don't love or hate. It's something that you have to, to, to within your team, uh, train on and be good at so you can win those games when they go to that, that far. You know what, it's, uh, it's a double-edged sword. You know, they bring up some, uh, some fantastic uh, moments in the game. Uh, we've had uh, a few of those that haven't gone our way. Uh, but like I say in football, you know, everything that doesn't go your way one day will always go your way in the next day.